I'm not gonna lie, as I was playing through Scarlet and Violet, Finizen and Palafin didn't exactly catch my eye. I mean, Finizen's kind of just a dolphin, and then Palafin is a dolphin with arms. I just didn't really get it. But with the new Palafin from Obsidian Flames, I have become a real Palafin fan. Palafin is a stage one Pokemon with 150 hit points and two fantastic attacks. Its first attack, Jet Punch, does 30 damage and 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And then Justice Kick does 210 damage for just two water energy, but Palafin has to switch from the bench to the active spot during your turn, or the attack does nothing. Now, Palafin is a solid card, but it's not quite strong enough to see play in standard format. In Gym Leader Challenge format, however, Palafin is a serious contender. Gym Leader Challenge is my favorite way to play Pokemon cards. It's a super fun and unique format where no rule box cards are allowed to be played. And in a format without gigantic Pokemon V-Star and Pokemon V-Max, Palafin's potential can be fully realized. If you want to learn more about Gym Leader Challenge format, make sure to check out gymleaderchallenge.com where all of the rules are explained and there are some great getting started guides to help you build your first deck. In today's match, I'm piloting my water type Gym Leader Challenge deck featuring Palafin against JD with his water type Gym Leader Challenge deck also featuring Palafin. Two different ways to play Palafin in Gym Leader Challenge format. I'm stoked to get to the gameplay ahead, but before we do, let's head over to fullgripgames.com. Everybody knows that the original 151 Pokemon are the best. That's why they're getting their own set, Scarlet and Violet 151. Full Grip Games has pre-orders available now for all Pokemon 151 sealed products. And supporting the shop at FullGripGames.com directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. So if you want to get your hands on this awesome new set as quickly as possible, then make sure to head over to FullGripGames.com today. Thank you so much for buying and selling at FullGripGames.com. Now, let's see what Palafin can do in these water type gym leader challenge decks. Good luck. All right, good luck. Ooh, good starter. Drop. Got a nice opening hand. Well, it's actually kind of lackluster. <laughs> I got a pretty mid looking opening hand, but I do have Finizen and a level ball with a level and Vulpix in the active spot, so it's really. Not that bad. It is not that bad. Level ball for Sobble. Yeah. Hello and ball fix for Drizzle. Easy peasy. We're cooking. Level ball. And now I have an opportunity to check my deck, see what I have prized. I think the moth is prized. The entire moth. Both <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both Snom and Frost Moth. So it's gonna be a Bax caliber angle this game, but it's okay. Looks like maybe Octillery is also prized. So that's fine. With level ball, I'm grabbing Sobble. I'll put Sobble down onto the bench. Bench Finizen, pass to you. All right, let's draw. That's a good top deck because the hand's not that great. I got some search, but the top deck of the Brooklyn Hill, uh, it's a good good sign so i'll put brooklet hill into play and i'll use brooklet hill Ooh, it's looking like sobble is in the prize cards yep it's looking like sobble's prized not great especially when i want to get going fast with that palafin i think off of brooklet hill we will just get snow put it onto the bench and i will go back in with dive ball to go get the Remoraid and put it onto my bench. No, I'm definitely stoked you got Brooklyn Hill out. That's Yeah, in this matchup, it helps you, but <laughs> I, I wasn't going anywhere if I didn't get it. For sure, right. And it is something that's nice about uh, your water and fighting decks is that you have Brooklyn Hill. You don't have to play Artisan, which gives every Everybody. opponent yeah. you know, a bonus. So, you know, it is still nice to have that exclusive Pokemon search on a stadium. 
We will attach water to Lapras for turn. And with that, I'll just use Icy Wind to put you to sleep. Dang, okay. This is actually not cool because no if, beacon for you if i don't you flip heads if i don't wake up i'm not going to be able to beacon for more pokemon and Let's it's a go. tail oh, here we no. go <laughs> this is so sad okay now you're in trouble uh oh brooklet hill oh no uh-huh and i've got a master plan i do wish that i had an energy in my hands that would be really good <laughs> but I don't. So I've got to make uh, make the best play I can, which is to wake up this Alolan Vulpix. I just top decked a switch raft. Oh. And okay. I can Brooklet Hill for cast form, who has free retreat. So I'll grab cast form, who goes straight to my bench, play switch raft to switch Alolan Vulpix into cast form. Retreat cast form back into Alolan Vulpix and Beacon. Yep. With Beacon, I'm getting Drizzile and Palafin. Okay. Draw for turn. Ooh, okay. Let's start with the Brooklet Hill. It's not a lot. There's a lot of evolutions and basics in the prize cards. So I think. I just need to get at least another backup attacker, so I will get the Tapu Fini off of Brooklyn Hill. And I will go back in with Evolution Incense to grab that Octillery. Evolve, and then use Rapid Strike Search. And I'm looking, there it is, for that Rapid Strike Energy. Basically, the double dragon of Rapid Strike. It provides a water and a fighting energy and two at a time as long as it's attached to a rapid strike Pokemon. So that's what I really like about this kind of Palafin rapid strike build is that you can take early aggression with this rapid strike energy with the Lapras sniping, the Cloyster early spread, and even just the Tapu Fini 120 and preserving that rapid strike energy also really great. Yeah, this is a lot of pressure. I'm, like, just getting set up. <laughs> and I, I know that you got that drizzle off the beacons, so that Sobble is looking, looking pretty vulnerable right now. Uh, I think so, yeah. Off the Abyssal Hand, I'll get that Rapid Strike Energy. It's not a Abyssal Hand, but, you know, so that's oh, the wrong, <laughs> wrong one. Off that Rapid Strike Search, there I'll get Rapid Strike Energy, attach it to the Lapras for turn, and I don't got much going on in my hand, so I will Splash Arc. 100 damage to the Sobble, and all energies come back to hand. Oof. Yeah, that uh, that hurts for sure. JD Take takes a prize, a prize card. Ooh. Draw. This is fine. Still no energy, but we'll, uh, you know, I'm fine. We're it's chilling. Fine. No We're chilling. No okay. Biggie, no biggie. Yeah, right back in it. Brooklyn Hill. We're going back. Brooklyn Hill for Frigibacks. And then evolve Finizen to Palafin. Nessa to bring back my Sobble and put it onto my bench. And then I'll Beacon. And with Beacon, I just want to go get Arctabax and Staryu. Get another free retreater for that Palafin. Yeah. Always good. And you're up. All right. Draw for turn. Tate and Liza. Yeah. Let's start by benching the Finison. Got that off the prize cards, which is great. Attach Rapid Strike Energy to Tapu Fini for turn. And let it rip with Tate and Liza. And off of Tate and Liza, I'm looking for a Snom and one energy at least. A Snom Senior. A Snom Senior, the moth. <laughs> yes. So I'm looking for a way to get Frost Moth out so I can put another energy onto the Tapu Fini. And then I can Rapid Strike Search for that Tower of Water to retreat into it and take another knockout. So five off of Tate and Liza. And would you look at that? We found Level Ball and Bucket. The two things that will help me get this knockout. So we'll start with a level ball. Get the Frostmoth and evolve into Frostmoth. 
then play Bucket to search my deck for two water energy. Grabbing those two. Actually, I'm going to go back in with Rapid Strike Search. There it is. Off of Rapid Strike Search, we'll get Tower of Water. And there's not really any more basics I want to get, so I'm fine with just bumping the stadium without using it for now. Leave a free bench space, because there's always a chance that Lapras or Tapafini can come right back from the discard and just get powered up straight away, so it's nice to leave a bench space open for them. Bump Brooklet Hill. I'll Ice Dance one energy to the Tapafini and one energy to the Finizen. So I'll save Pot Helmet, use Tower of Water to give Lapras free retreat to retreat into Tapufini, and I will Ocean Loop doing 120 to the Lone Vulpix and sending Rapid Strike Energy back to my hand. Oof. JD up one more prize, promote cast form, draw. Huh. It's not helping me a whole lot, but at least I get to keep my Sobble so yeah. I can Drizzle and we can do some stuff. Yep. So that's good. Evolve Frigibax into Arctabax. Bench Staryu. Evolve Sobble into Drizzle and use Shady Dealings. And it's going to be a Culbris for Ooh, eight. Oh, yeah. We just need to draw a lot of different cards. <laughs> A lot of cards that are different from the ones that I have currently. You know, water spread can come back as possible. This I just got to get a few things going and I'm okay. But I always got to worry about that Lapras. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get eight. Okay, there's some energy. There we go. Water energy to Palafin, Bench Remoraid, Retreat Cast Form, and I'll Jet Punch for 30. Yep. And also do 30 damage to the Finison. The Finison. Draw for turn and top deck the Palafin. So it looks like your Palafin may be going down this turn. I will evolve into Palafin. Attach Rapid Strike Energy to the top of Fini. And I, too, will Colrus for nine now. There you go. Yes. So off of Colrus, I will get nine. One, two, three, four, nine. And we did get a water. So Ice Dance, one water to the Palafin. Ice Dance, another to the Lapras. And we will use Tower of Water again to switch into the Palafin. And I will use Justice Kick for 210 since I moved to the active this turn. Yeah, so my Palafin goes down. JD takes Take a prize. third prize. And I have still not taken a prize yet, but finally ready to start cooking. This okay. can be the turn. Promote Cast Form and draw. Evolve Arc to Bax into Bax Caliber, which feels really good because now it's out of range of that Lapras. Mm -hmm. Dive Ball. And with Dive Ball, I'm getting Intellion. Evolve Drizzile into Intellion and use Shady Dealings. Shady Dealings allows me to search my deck for two trainer cards to put into my hand. And I definitely just want some water energy into play so I can get the Professor's Letter. And then I probably want to make it so that JD's Pokemon no longer have free retreat. So I'm thinking, like, Silent Lab is cool. Just to bump that stadium. Just to get that thing out of there, yep. Because I've already got an Iono in hand, so that's cool. With Shady Dealings, I'm getting Professor's Letter and Silent Lab. Put Silent Lab into play. Yep. And play Professor's Letter to get two water energy out of my deck and into my hand. Now, thankfully, Jet Punch was able to soften up this Palafin last turn, so Intellion will be able to reach a knockout on it. Perfect math. Yes, and Intellion's kind of beefy at 160 Six. HP. Yep. It can be tough to knock out, especially since Tapufini only doing that 120. Super cold, two water energy to Intellion. 
Evolve Staryu into Starmie. Super Cold, another Water Energy onto Starmie. And Iono. Oh, boy. I'll get six, and JD gets three. three. Retreat Cast Form into Intellion. Super Cold, a Water Energy onto Starmie. And Aqua Bullet for 120 damage for the knockouts and 20 damage to Octillery. Yep. Let's move into the Tapu Fini and drop a turn. Get a Nest Ball, which is good because I got Sobble off the prizes and it was now put to the bottom of the deck. So off a of Nest Ball, we will grab the Sobble. So you can see just how powerful getting that Intellion line out really bringing Andrew back into the game. Use Super Rod to put Finizen, Palafin, and one energy back into the deck. Another great thing with Octillery is I can now Rapid Strike Search for the one Rapid Strike Supporter if it's here. Ooh, it's not here. <laughs> Prize. Prize the Karina. So that's another great thing about the rapid strike search is that you can go search for a Karina. So if you get Iona to three like I did, Karina can bring you right back if you're down bad. But with it being prized, off a of rapid strike search, I'll get the Cloister. Put it to hand. I'll bench the shelter. And then I'll play Lusamine to grab Colrus for next turn. And Tower of Water. Putting them both in my hand. I want to wait to use the Tower of Water just so Andrew can't bump it yet again. I will use Ocean Blue to do 120 and put Rapid Strike Energy back to hand. Sick. Draw for turn. Alrighty then. I know that JD's got the Colrus in his hand now. So that's a burst draw of nine, which is quite a bit. Let's. Super Rod, and Shuffle, Finizen, Palafin, and Water Energy back into my deck. Super Cold, two Water Energy to Starmie. Play Evolution Incense and Fail It. And then N. N. Oh, boy. Not again. Off of the N, I'll draw three. And I get five. Okay, if I go here, it's 150 damage spread. It's pretty good. Uh, That's pretty six, good. Nine. See, I mean, it is a double knockout. I could take out the Sobble and the Frost Moth, which is Ooh. like pretty gnarly. Yeah. Bench Finizen. Super cold. One more water energy onto Starmie and Retreat Intellion. And the time is now, because if I don't go soon, JD could just bop my Starmie with the yep. Lapras. So... I think uh, this Starmie has gotten big enough. And I will multi-shot Star, which allows me to discard any amount of water energy from this Pokemon. And then for each energy I discard, I choose a Pokemon on JD's side of the board and deal 30 damage to it. So I'm doing 369 to Frostmoth and 6 to Sobble. Yep. So Good. double knockout. That hurts. And Andrew's right back in the game. Draw for turn. Suing Heavy Ball won't get me anything. I will go in with Ball Guy. It's looking like just Ultra Ball and Quick Ball off of the Ball Guy, but Ultra Ball is really just the one I'm looking for. Because Ultra Ball will let me discard the Quick and his Suing Heavy Ball. Grabbing the Cloister and evolving into Cloister. And I'll use Rapid Strike Search to go grab that Rapid Strike Energy right back out. Now is the tough decision of do I go into Cloister and start spreading and not take a knockout yet but set up damage, or I can just Lapras swing into that Inteleon and knock it out. I think spreading, because I still have the... Articuno in there. So that can mm. help fix some prizing later. I will attach Rapid Strike Energy for turn. Retreat Tapu Fini. 
into the cloister. And I will use Aqua Split to do 60 to the Starmie, and then 30 to 2 Pokemon, which cast form. And I think it will be there, because that fixes the math real nice, so I don't even have to flip a heads on Articuno. Ooh, true. Draw. Play Hisuian Heavy Ball and see my slackers <laughs> that uh, didn't want to show up to work. That's fine. All right, I'm looking at you, Octillery. Uh huh. Be nice if this Remoraid was doing something over here. Play Escape Rope. Tapu Fini is fine to give up. It does feel so nice to have a free retreater on board because I don't know who I'm attacking with this turn, <laughs> but we're going to try and figure it out. Yep. And then it's got to be Tate and Liza to shuffle draw five. Tate and Liza is a really nice, flexible draw supporter. It's one that I've played in a lot of decks. I've been taking it out of some decks recently, but with Palafin doing more damage when it switches in, you know, Tate and Liza being able to switch in a pinch is really nice. I, I just like that the dual uh, function of a supporter. You can shuffle draw a five when you need to, and if you try to get boss stalled or you need to switch into another attacker, it's a great option to have both just off of one supporter. Flexibility is so good. Yeah, getting two functions out of one card spot, just great value. Draw five. Oh, boy. Evolve Finizen into Palafin and play Timer Ball. Broken. One. One heads, sure. I don't know if there's any evolution Pokemon in here. There are not. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. Yes. Frostmoth and Octillery. I am just looking for Versus Seeker, Superior Energy Retrieval, something like that. Something. I think I just lose if you, yeah, if you can, like, this, Cloister one more time. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a three price turn if I can pull the Cloister off. I mean, unless you switch out of the cast form, which. So, I'm going to have to do I'd, that. Ha yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope you would. Yes, I will be doing that, Yes. Retreat cast form into Intellion. Okay. Pass to you. Draw. Versus Seeker. Does that get me a boss or a Guzma? It doesn't. But it can get me a better draw supported than N. So I think let's attach water energy to Tapu Fini. Versus Seeker for Tate and Liza, and I'll try my own Tate and Liza. Shuffle draw five. Ooh, boy. So off of Tate and Liza, I will draw five. Two, three, four, five. Bench the Articuno. Bump Silent Lab with Tower of Water. Preserve that energy while I retreat into the Cloister. And I will do Aqua Split. 60 to the Inteleon to knock it out. 30 to the Starmie to knock it out. And 30 to the cast form. Oof. Taking two prizes this turn. I am hanging on to this game by 10 damage. Promote cast form and draw. Yes, I don't have any hand disruption cards, so just have to hope for the best. Irida. There we go. And with Irida. I'll get Superior Energy Retrieval and Snom. Play Superior Energy Retrieval, discarding Rhyme and Snom to get four basic water energy from my discard pile into my hands. Mm -hmm. Super Cold, two water energy onto Palafin. Super Cold, two water energy onto Bax Caliber. Mm -hmm. Retreat Cast Form and Justice Kick. For 210 damage. Minus 30 from shell armor, but still enough yeah. for a knockout. <laughs> that palafin hits hard. I will go into Lapras. Draw for turn. And since there was no hand disruption, I got to keep the Guzma. The Guzma up the cast form into Tapu Fini. And you smash turn for 30. And ah, game. GG's. Good GDs, game. GDs. Yeah, that was close for sure. That was a unfortunately slow start from my deck, but we yep. did get to see just how powerful the rapid strike energy can be in your deck yep. early on with Octillery to search it out. I mean, that was a 
That was really fun for sure. Palafin got in there a few times yep, also. Both sides. Yeah. It was good. Good. That's what I like about the rapid strike is it allowed me to get that early game aggression with that Lapras to knock out that Sobble to prevent you from using that Drizzle you got off a of beacon really slowing you down there so that's definitely that's what i like about this version is that i can get off fast and aggressive and really slow down your opponent something i really like about the rapid strike search artillery as opposed to my abyssal hand artillery who didn't show up uh <laughs> is that instead of just drawing cards it searches you out exactly what you want so it can get you a draw supporter it can get you a stadium that helps you retreat it can get you the energy that you need so it's a nice kind of multifaceted card i do really like in that uh in that particular build of water yeah well, let's try this again i didn't get to attack with curum at all that game so sure. yeah i'd yeah. like to see if i can't get curum up and going yes yep. in uh in game two Good luck. Good luck. Ooh, start the vault picks again. Draw for turn. I think we will do a deck search with Nest Ball before I bench that Remoraid, just to make sure he's here. Palafin's here. Sobble. Inteleon's here. There's the Octillery. Is the Drizzile here? There he is. Fenizen and Palafin are here. It's looking like everybody that I need is here. We're looking good, so off the nest ball. Go ahead and get Sobble. Nest ball, get Sobble. Bench the Remoraid. Attach a water to Articuno for turn. Pass to you. Draw. Got a nice looking opening hand. I was looking like I was gonna have to research the Frost Moth and the Super Rod, but I just top decked N, so I think I'd much rather spin the wheel with N. Bench Snom and Finizen and Men. Didn't have the best hand, but I had a way to get Drizzile. So that, hoping this N isn't too brutal. So six. Okay, we got a pretty solid hand off the N. Play Dive Ball. I just drew into Drizzile, Arctbax, and Kiram. I'm trying to get a turn two glaciate. That's like what this deck really loves Shoo to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh that's the game plan here. Got Drizzile in the hand already, so Sobble would be a good grab. And Frost Moths in the deck, so we're probably gonna go get that. I'll uh dive ball for Sobble and put it onto my bench. Bench Curum and Beacon. <laughs> I'm going to want Frost Moth and Palafin. And you're up. Draw for turn. I have a way to get and power up the Lapras to snipe that Sobble and snipe that Finison, but I don't have the Moth in play. Okay. Yep. I was going to say, yep. dang, he got a play coming out of left it's, field. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. That changes things then. We'll start with evolving into Octillery. Evolution Incense. Off of the Evolution Incense, I'll get Drizzile. I'll use Ball Guy first. Start getting some things set up. So off of Ball Guy, I'll get Level Ball, Quick Ball, and Ultra Ball. Play Level Ball to get the Finison out. Quick Ball away the Silent Lab to get Shelter. Oh, now that I'm looking at it, I did prize the Tapu Fini. So Suing Heavy Ball could have been good, but I don't think it's needed just yet. I will use Rapid Strike Search. These kind of chain reaction turns with yeah, decks like water, water can, and yeah. grass are really fun, yeah. Rapid Strike Search, we'll get the Rapid Strike Energy. Get it out of there for next turn. Jeez, I'm gonna go back in yet again with Drizzile shitty healings. That's the, that's the crazy thing about water. It's just there's so much you can do in one turn with yeah. just so few Pokemon on, on the board at the start of my turn. I've got a full bench, and I'm just searching out so many cards. And we both have a pretty big bench, so I will grab Colrus off of Drizzile's shady dealings. Attach a water to the Finison. Return... And chilling sigh to put you to sleep. Ooh, see if I wake up. And 
he does. Stay woke, Vulpix. Draw. Hisuian Heavy Ball. There we go. My cast form. Unfortunately, I did prize Superior Energy Retrieval and Professor's Letter, which is pretty tough. The Field Blower being here, too, means that if JD's Pod Helmet comes into play, I won't be able to quickly deal with that. But all in all, not terrible prizes. I can work with that. Evolve Snom into Frostmoth. Finizen into Palafin. Bench cast form. Evolve Sobble into Drizzile and use Shady Dealings. Well, Shady Dealings for Culrus and let it spin. Unfortunately, my Professor's Letter is prized, so no easy way to dig those water energy out of the deck. I'm just going to have to go find them. The dream is like three energy and a switch card so I can glaciate, but I'll take two energy and a switch or three energy <laughs> as well. Exactly. There we go. There it is. Yes. Nine. Okay. We didn't get the full glaciates, but we are getting in there. Ice dance, two water energy to cast form. Switch raft. To switch my cast form into the active spots. Rainfall. Rain. 20 damage to all your Pokemon. Oh, boy. 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20. That's some good spread right there. Draw for turn. Brooklet Hill. You got a full bench, so Brooklet Hill doesn't feel too bad putting in play. And I will go ahead and use Brooklet Hill. Off of Brooklet Hill, I will grab the Lapras and put it onto my bench. I will use Dive Ball to go get Inteleon and evolve Drizzile into Inteleon using Shady Dealings. Grab in a switch card, which I think will be rope to get that cast form at least out of the active, make him find another switch. Man, that Palafin is brutal. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting Pot Helmet, but you're just going to blow right through anything in my deck. That's why this card is so nasty. Yeah. Uh, hmm. The power level of that thing is nuts. It's wild. Um, you know what? We'll go for it. Off of Inteleon Shady Dealings, I'll get Escape Rope and Pot Helmet. The Pot Helmet does stop Rainfall and Glaciate from affecting the Pokemon it's attached does. to. So. Which I will attach to Shelter. Attach Rapid Strike Energy for turn. Play Escape Rope. I gotta feed you Vulpix. Yep. And then I will Colrus Experiment. Not Colrus Experiment. Colrus. <laughs> I'm playing too much Lost Box lately. Colrus, no experimenting. No yeah. experimenting. <laughs> just, just stand there looking pretty. Uh huh. Yes. For a big old 10. Classic Colrus. Hopefully we don't miss anything. One, two, three, four. That's a lot of energy. Ten. That is like all of my energy. <laughs> um, but I did get the cloister to evolve into. I'll rapid strike search just to thin something out of the deck. Get that tower of water off of rapid strike search. And we'll aqua split doing 60 the Vulpix and 30 to... Palafin and Drizzile. Soften them both up. All right, Vulpix JD. gets knocked out. A prize. JD takes a prize. We are coming back in with our very brave cast form. Draw. Bench star you. And how many cards are in your hand? A lot. A lot. Yes. A lot. Yeah, okay, that's going to change. Iono. Oh, boy. There goes all of my energy. <laughs> And I'll draw six. JD will get five. Yep. Okay, okay. Ice Dance, a Water Energy to cure him. And Rainfall, 20 damage to all your benched Pokemon. Yes, yep. the Cloister has not only a Pot Helmet, but also the Shell Armor <laughs> ability, so it's preventing 60 damage incoming. Yep. And I'm only doing 20, so that gets uh, deflected. 20 to everything is still rough. It's starting to add up a lot. Draw for turn. 
evolve the finicin into palafin to protect it for at least a little longer. <laughs> I know. The good finicin only has 50 hit points, <laughs> but then there's another finicin that has 90. It has 90? Yes. Oh. I know. There's a 50 hit point finicin, and there's a 90 <laughs> hit point finicin. It's like, whoa, whoa what happened here? <laughs> Man, not having Frostmoth set up has been a real pain for this deck, but I can at least Irida. To go search for a water Pokemon and an item. I think getting an energy in play this turn will be good. So off of Irida, I will get Tapu Fini and Professor's Letter. And go back in with Professor's Letter. Grabbing two water energies. Especially since Cloyster isn't taking a knockout on the cast form. But it puts it at 10 damage. Which Articuno just does 20 and I can take two prizes right there. It's true. That is concerning. I like that about the Articuno in here is that, you know, you have some spread and you have some attackers that can just set up damage for this Articuno to come back. Right. So, attach one energy to Articuno for turn. And Aqua Split again for 60 to the active, 30 to the Staryu, and th let's do three more to the Drizzile. Alrighty. Drop. When I played Iono last turn, there's not any Pokemon in my discard pile that I want to put back into the deck. But I could switch up the order of my deck. I could Irida to guarantee Intellion and this guy. It feels like I should just, yeah. Quick Ball, discard mm -hmm. Frigibex. I'll grab Remoraid. Mm -hmm. And... Professor's Research, discard my hand and draw seven. Whew, that was a brutal whiff. It's fine. You whiffed. Whiffed oh, a lot of stuff there. Oh, no. It's fine. <laughs> Evolve Star You into Star Me. Ice Dance, a water energy onto Kiram. And whew, Rainfall, 20 damage to everything. Yep. Oh boy. Nothing to the cloister because a pot helmet. Draw for turn. Think this is time to just capitalize on the cast form only having ten HP left. Yeah, right. And you can get the free retreat stadium. Yep. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I will attach to Articuno for turn. Use rapid strike search to go get the broken tower of water. Grab it off of there. Don't shuffle it back in. <laughs> Put Tower Water into play over Brooklet Hill. Tate and Liza to shuffle draw five. Yep. Let's see if we can get some new cards. So Tate and Liza will get me five. Yep. Five. Okay, not a bad five. We will just retreat using Tower of Water into the Articuno, and I'll use Tri Hedge for 20. You want me to flip for the rest? You're good. I'm yeah, good. It's yep. a guaranteed knockout. Gu Even three tails will do it. Yep. Guaranteeing the knockout. And with Articudo's Delta Plus trait, trait yep. I get to take one extra prize. So I get to take two off of that knockout. Yeah, that is, uh, that's rough. But we've been preparing for this. This is how a spread deck works. It goes behind. And it swings right back. And then it comes back. So that's what we're going to try and do. Promote Kiram. Draw. You know, I could N, I could Iono. I don't want any of these cards in my hand. <laughs> well, it's Versa Seeker for Professor's Research. Rip it. And I am just full sending again. Yes, all these cards. Oh boy. Research, discard, draw seven. Okay. Splash Energy to Kiram. Mm -hmm. Silent Lab. Shady Dealings. Could be good to get a Lusamine. Could be good to get a boss. With Shady Dealings, I'll grab Lusamine and Boss's Orders. I really just need to evolve the Drizz Island to Intellion so it doesn't get knocked out. Yep. <laughs> On I've the bench. Yeah. <laughs> ben Morse in the chat trying to tell me to knock out the Drizz Isle. I probably should have done that. Could have took a two-prize KO with the Cloister still. Oh, baby. I'll use Glaciates. To do 30 damage to all your Pokemon, except for, of course, Cloyster, who is way too big. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. There we go. Draw. 
Catch to Palafin for turn. Retreat Articuno into the Palafin. Okay. Goose Hollow. Okay. Discarding Bridget and Staryu just to thin some things out. Just Air Balloon. Okay. Attaching Air Balloon to the Palafin. Mm hmm. And Justice Kick for the knock. Okay, Kieran comes back to my hands. Because of the splash energy. Oh boy. And I'll promote Frostmoth. Draw. Nessa? Oh boy. Gonna get four water energy back from my discard pile. Ice <laughs> Dance. Four water energy to star me. Oh boy. Ice Dance. Fifth water energy to star me. Bench Curum. Play Evolution Incense. Just thin that Bax Caliber out of my deck. Mm -hmm. Then play Escape Rope. And I'll promote Starmie. And use Multi Shot Star. We'll go 60 there. Mm hmm. 30 here, 30 here, and yeah, 30 to Lapras. Okay, so that is a Three triple knockout. knockout. Yep. So all these get knocked out, and then 30 to the Lapras. Draw for turn. Bench the Snom. Mm-hmm. Play teammates. Yeah. Grabbing these two cards off of teammates. And playing Bucket to go grab two water energies out of my deck. Attaching an energy to Inteleon. Mm -hmm. And Aqua Split. 60 damage to Starmie for the knockout. Frostmoth and Kiram. Cool. All right, JD, one prize left. Prize. I will promote... Palafin. Draw. Hmm. It's kind of ugly. Assuming Heavy Ball. Yes. Still the Superior <laughs> in a letter. Or, you know. Would be nice to have those right about now. Level Ball. Yep. Or any of these four <laughs> energy in my deck. That's fine, though. And I'm using Boss's Orders on your Snob. No, my Snob. Uh oh. And pass to you. Let's draw. Kind of like Palafin there, because that requires you to switch and switch back for its full effect. So. Attach one energy to Inteleon for turn. Evolve into Frostmoth. Ultra Ball away Marnie and Lusamine. Yeah. Just a thin. Grab Tapu Fini. Sure. Off of Ultra Ball. Bench the Tapu Fini and Karina to draw up to six. So draw four. Two, three, four. So there's only one energy left. So we will Super Rod. Two water energies and Articuno. Sure. Back into the deck. Suing Heavy Ball. Yep. <laughs> That's a thing. Just a thin. Keep thinning. Pass to you. Drop. Lusamine? Yo. And with Lusamine, I'm grabbing Nessa. Mm hmm. And N. And, uh, pass to you. Okay. Draw. Attach a water to Frostmoth. Cynthia. Hoping to get Guzma off of that Karina. Didn't happen. Hopefully we can get it off of Cynthia. Or at least something to... Right. <laughs> to move you something. guys. So off of Cynthia, I'll get six. Six. And there is the Guzma. But I know you grabbed N. So, pass to you. Drop. Rescue Stretcher. 
I don't know if I have anybody really impactful to put into play. Rescue Stretcher, Star You and Star Me. And cast form back into the deck. Brooklet Hill to go get Star You. Field Blower, Pot Helmet, and Brooklet Hill. Mm -hmm. And and Yep. Grab one of two cards off of this. An energy or a Guzma. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to need you to be stuck for like one more turn. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. on. yeah, 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 yeah. One more turn, one more turn, one more turn. Three. Water energy to Palafin. And I'll death punch for 30 and knock out Lapras. Yep. Draw for turn. And ah! off of one, I got Versus Seeker to get Tate and Liza and use the sh switch into Inteleon, and I will aqua it for 120 and the game. GG's, Good GGs. Game. Yeah, that was, uh, that was awesome for sure. I'm still cooking on this water list a little bit. Yours was impressive, though. I really liked Thank what you, you had Thank going you. on there. Yeah. That was fun. The Rapid Strike Pokemon really showed up to that best of three. That was mm -hmm. sick. There's great spread. There's, you know, with the spread, a decent attack off the top of Feeny and preserving energies, good sniping. Rapid Strike Pokemon, there's a lot of good variety when it comes to like a spread type of deck. And I think just now with the Palafin, it really jives well with the Palafin, being able to switch so much and just move around For a sure. lot. Palafin, you know, take a big knockout, retreat it into something else, start spreading. There's just a lot of options with this deck. So Palafin, yeah. great card. Definitely a great card. I uh, love seeing this card in action uh, in two different styles of Gym Leader Challenge deck, the Rapid Strike build, and then more of like a uh, water energy acceleration spread style build. I think that there's a lot of uh, ground to cover with these types of decks in, uh, in Gym Leader Challenge 4. And it's certainly a lot of fun to play.